So now let's look at how we can customize the other pages on our Shopify website as well. Up here, we can see we are currently on the home page, but now let's switch to a different page. So let's go to our product page by clicking on products here, and then let's click on default product. So this is what the product page currently looks like. We have the product information here at the top with the name, the price, the description, and the images. And this is actually the information we have entered when we have added the product. So back here in the dashboard, when we go to products and click on that product, this is where the information comes from. So the image, the name and the description and the price, we can all see here on the product page. And we can edit our default product page the same way as we have edited our home page. So for example, if we want to disable these features right here, these rows, what we can do is just delete them right here, or we can also just hide them by clicking on this eye icon here for all of them, and then they will be removed from our product page. And to add content to our product page, it's the same thing. So for example, we can click on add section right here, and then maybe add a slideshow to the bottom of this product page right here, add some images, and now we have a slideshow on this product page. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind is that whatever you add here to this page will show up for every product that is assigned to the default product page. So we can create different product page layouts for different types of products. Let's say I want to create a specific product page layout for all of my backpacks and then have a different one for all of my duffel bags. I can do that by creating a specific product page template. So let's do that by clicking on default product, then products, and then let's click on create template. I'm going to name this template backpacks and click on create template. And now let's say for all of my backpack product pages, I want to add something here at the bottom that shows why our backpacks are actually the best ones in the market. So what I would want to do is click on add section here. And then maybe I want to do a multi column section. And then here I'm going to add three things why these backpacks are actually the best ones in the business. So let's say we have added all of those features. So let's click on save changes. And now what we want to do is assign all of our backpacks to this specific product page. So we can go back to our dashboard, then go to products. And then let's click on one of our backpacks. Let's click on this one right here. And then here we can scroll down and under theme template, we want to change it from default product to backpacks and click save. And now when we go to our store and then look for our backpacks here and click on the one we have selected before, then we can see here on the product page, we have now our multi-column section that we have added before. But again, this is just if you want to use different product pages for different types of products. Now, if you want to keep things simple, what I would do is just stick to one type of product page and then just keep it general so it fits to every product that you have in store.